today I want to talk about weight and I'm talking about the weights of roach. We weigh our fish in England when we're fishing for coarse fish. We talk about two pound roach, five pound chub, six pound chub and that's because we use the traditional weights, the imperial weights. On the continent they long adopted the uh, metric system so they're in kilos and grams but we're stuck with pounds and pounds are a very arbitrary weight when you think about it and it just so happens that when a roach gets to weigh two pounds that's a point at which it becomes fairly rare. Of course the record's over four pounds a three pounder is nowadays seen as a fish of a lifetime and yet for many many years many decades a two pounder was a fish of a lifetime and it still is for many people who've never caught a two pound roach who may think one day I might catch one and they might have a best of 112 or 114 even 115 but that weight as I say is very arbitrary we just happen to pick on that round number if we were metric and we said well maybe a kilo is a nice round number and that's about two pound three and a quarter something like that and it's a little bit bigger might be a little bit rarer and some people then say well I've had so many big roach I'll, I'll talk about catching three pound roach or roach over 212 or roach over 28 or some other figure and of course size is relative. In the River Ebro in Spain there are, there are lots of three pounders and some four pounders coming out at times. Lots and lots of two pounders. And a two pounder becomes so commonplace it's almost like catching one of 12 ounces in England in, other, in some places. And of course in fishing there's no standard way of me measuring what we catch. Uh, American game anglers just measure their fish so they'll say oh, I caught a 15 inch brown trout or an 18 inch rainbow trout or a 12 inch brook trout. They don't weigh them they just quickly measure them and, and it is very much catch and release nowadays so they put them back. Doesn't mean they never use weights they do use weights and the, the sort of record largemouth bass will be weighed maybe the bass anglers use weights more more than the trout anglers and similarly the uh, law anglers in Europe I, I don't know if it's the Scandinavian anglers or the Dutch anglers but they they tend to work in measurements so they measure their fish in centimeters so it, to win a competition you'd add up all the lengths of the fish you've caught so uh, you know you might be catching good sized perch and they're all going 30 centimeters catch 10 of those and you've got 300 centimeters to add to your catch whereas we go for weight so 10 perch of a pound we'd weigh it weigh in 10 pounds something or whatever there's no right or wrong way to all of this of course as we're going to weigh fish we need some scales my first ever scales were a little a little samson spring balance that weighed up to four pounds in one ounce increments and believe it or not those scales are quite accurate when new they they might not be very accurate once they get a bit rusty and uh, I don't know whether the springs go soft or get reluctant to move at all when they're all rusted together but they have their limitations and there were better spring balances by people like Salters these sort of round spring balances that you may still be able to get Nowadays it's a toss up between old almost obsolete um, dial scales and things or digital scales and some people are using lug luggage scales that are very very cheap and cheerful. Sometimes they get branded by um, fishing manufacturers and say oh buy these digital scales by X, Y and Z and inside's the mechanism from a set of luggage scales that you could buy for four pounds and you're paying 34 pounds so are they any good possibly they're surprisingly accurate although the the trouble with digital scales that are battery powered is it if the batteries get flat 
then they become very, very dodgy. They either don't work at all or you get very false weights. I'm not sure which way the false weights go, but there you are. Scales I own most of, good old set of Avons, I think they were Mark 7. This particular set weighs up to £32. So these are quite an old set of scales. I suspect these are well over 30 years old. I think they belong to a mate of mine that I inherited from him. Um, they've got a screw adjustment at the back there. You can adjust it so you can, you can zero it. I've got it set to about minus a pound. And my landing net head on uh, a couple of the landing net poles I've got you can detach about the top 10 inches of landing net pole in one case it just pulls off it's a like a ferrule in the other case it's uh, an old aluminium pole and you just unscrew that bit the the clamp that holds that on and I can zero that net head and short piece of handle to about minus one pound and it's important to do that with the net is wet, I've just landed the fish, get it zeroed properly and weigh it. This set of scales, I've got a little bit of doubt about them at the moment. I think they are accurate, but I weighed a fish last week, the roach 110 I had. When I first put it on there, it stuck at one pound, which I knew it wasn't a pound roach. <laughs> There's nothing like a pound roach. But it suddenly started moving again, so I probably need to take these apart, have a look inside, make sure they're all good there's nothing uh, funny in there I don't this, they're very very simple mechanism you basically got a spring either side and a, a rack and pinion and that's that's it that just pulls on the rack and pinion it's important when you use scales like this that you hold them by the handle you don't hold them like that do not always they must be suspended everything must be working nicely and they will go around with roach, we haven't got to worry about how many turns it shows and what colour because it's only halfway around the first revolution where you hit four pounds, even on this one. And if it's the old 40 pound times one ounce set, then it's not even that far. It's only, only about there. So it's only just hit uh, five pounds is straight down. Whereas if you're weighing in a, a 25 pound carp or the you have to make sure you don't read 25 pounds when it's really 17 and so on, get the colours right. But we don't really have that problem with roach. These are accurate to within about an ounce. I test them with, uh, I've got some calibrated weights that are uh, stamped by weights and measures. They're, when it says it weighs a pound, it weighs exactly a pound. And I can test them. They're okay. Uh, I once caught a dace that weighed exactly a pound on not this set one of my other sets of avens and i'd like to think i was honest enough i tested them with the one pound weight and they were showing just over a pound on it and that was zero in it and playing around getting it absolutely spot on so i called that dace 15 ounces so i've yet to get a pounder but if i called it a pound i'm only kidding one person and that's me I'm not kidding anyone else so why try and kid other people? But it was the biggest day I've ever seen and I had some other ones the same night that were all just nudging 14 ounces. So I called those 13 and other big ones as well. One of those funny nights. If I'm in a situation where <laughs> confidence is overflowing and I think I'm really gonna catch something big, I've got these Reuben Heatons and these in the bigger sizes they're made for carp anglers they'll weigh up to sort of 60 pounds but this set is just 12 pounds with quarter ounce calibration so it's pretty accurate uh, when you put the one pound weight on this zeroed again it's got it's got a little dial here to zero it up we can it should be moving one way or the other moving plus actually moving minus and you can do it quite a long way and again, you suspend it carefully by there, and then it will go around nice and accurate. Very good. These are twice the weight 
of those Avon scales and they're quite heavy compared to some of the flyweight scales that people use, those black and white ones that are made by Reuben Heaton as well. I'm not a great fan of the flyweights. I think they're, when they're new, they can be very accurate. When they're older, the parts in there are not of the quality of the Avons or those much more, those dial scales I've just showed you, the Re Reuben Heatons, I think they were something like 70 or 80 pounds. I bought them about 15 years ago at the NEC and Reuben Heaton were displaying there and there was a sort of uh, special deal on the day, so I got them at a reasonable price. But if I weighed a fish on there, and they only go up to £12, but if I had a, my best ever chub or dace or roach, and I weighed them on those, I'd be pretty confident, provided I'd taken the time to get the zero in right, that the weight I said is the weight that it is. At the end of the day, does the weight matter to anybody? Probably not. I fish some waters where a pound roach is such an incredible achievement that you think, wow, that took so, it can take you years to catch a pound roach. There's been other times on the Froom, especially when I was fishing it a lot, and there were plenty of big roach there where two pounders just were, it was a quick way, yeah, that's over two pound, two one, two two. Didn't get that excited. We were trying at the time to catch ones over two and a half pounds or even nudging three pounds uh, and the two pounders were the sort of make weights almost and some of the fish weren't making two pounds we'd weigh them there and they'd be 114 115 113 or whatever and it's it's not that important as long as you're happy with what you've caught at the end of the day just be honest about it I hope I've got you thinking. There's, there's no, as the Angling Times say, two pound barrier. There's, <laughs> there's no block. It's just an arbitrary weight that happens to be quite a big roach. So there's no three pound barrier, no six pound barrier for chub or ten pound barrier for barbel or all these nonsense. It's just an arbitrary weight. If we were metric, it would be five kilo barbel or um, three kilo chub or 2.7 kilo chub, I don't know, one kilo roach, half a kilo dace, doesn't really matter. If something's a record, it might matter, that's different, and then it has to be very carefully weighed on more than one set of scales, properly witnessed, and, uh, and then it is important that we don't get fake records. Hope I've got you thinking in this short video. Please click like and subscribe slowly getting there with subscribers and uh, it's cheerio from me for now.